Hey guys, what's up? It's Malika here and welcome back to another episode of Tell Me Why. So in this video today, we are going to start chapter two, Family Secrets, and we will cover two parts of this chapter, Closing Night and Ahoy Goblins. This video first starts off with a flashback, so kind of leaving off with the flashback we were seeing at the end of the last episode. Then in current time, Tyler and Allison work on cleaning out the house, but of course, while cleaning out the house, they're discovering a lot of memories and a lot of missing pieces about the past. Anyways, let's just get on with the video. I hope you enjoy. Once upon a time, in a deep and ancient forest, so there was a book? pair of crafty goblins. So the crafty goblins did everything. I think it's interesting that the mom Until is the princess. The darkness overwhelmed the big wooden house in which they lived. Oh. Blamed for the darkness, Brother Goblin was forced to leave the forest. While his sister had to stay behind. Ten years later, they were finally reunited. And together, Aww. they decided to confront the darkness in the big wooden house. Wow. Though they sought the help of their friends in the forest, they found that no one wanted to delve into the long gone past. This is how the goblins found themselves alone in the woods, trying to discover why darkness had submerged the big wooden house. Trying to find the truth. Just noticed there was that face in the back, like right above the goblins there. That's creepy. Oh my god. We're going back to a flashback again. Oh, God. What is this? Tomorrow we should play Compass and North Star in the woods. Be sure to wear your hat then. <laughs> you be sure to wear your hat. <laughs> All right, who wants ice cream? Me! Eat up. Is that mint chip? It's the most important question of this game. Without What's the sound? She went out and buried the tiara in the ground beneath the sapling. And as the final scoop of dirt fell, the tiara felt truly gone. And with it, the final link to her old self. She could only go forward and find a new place for herself in this world. Where she was no longer truly a princess in a tiara and a beautiful gown, but a wanderer, alone in a deep and ancient wood. And that was how the princess lost her most precious treasure, and her title. I don't like that story. Yeah, me either. There were no goblins, and it was depressing. We won't read it again. I love you, Mom. Not me. <laughs> Just kidding. Love you, Mom. Mm -hmm. I love you too. Sleep well and dream, my doves. But they're goblins. Why are they doves now? What is with the sound? Ollie? Ollie? Oh, this is that night? Is that that? Yeah, I think so, because she's wearing the same shirt. I'm fairly sure. What a waste. But what the hell is that? What the hell is that? Is that, ice, is that the ice cream? Allison, help! Oh right, because they can talk tell uh, telepathically, is that what it's called? Oh shit, so that's how that's how she got involved.
Damn, this is really deep. I killed mom. I killed her. All right, chapter two, family secrets. Oh, we're back at the, the house. Wow, it looks a lot different. That's really cool how they're kind of incorporating like past self with their current self. Well, you know what I mean. They're still kids at heart. Such a feel good moment, too. Like, that's so cool. This book raises so many questions. Really, really does. Hey. You doing all right? I thought coming here would be closing a chapter of our lives, you know? But instead, we spun off a whole miserable prequel trilogy. We're not letting ourselves do this again. Come on, up. Mind numbing labor is a great way to forget your troubles. Uh, can't we just have coffee instead? That's actually no. true. <laughs> On your feet, soldier. That's actually so true. Let's get to work, take a and get things done, and sort out the furniture. Mm. If we get enough done, I'll drive you into town and buy you a gallon of ice cream. Mint chocolate chip, two gallons. Let's do this. Mint chocolate chip is the best kind of ice cream. It's funny, people are either for mint chocolate chip or they are strongly against it, don't understand it, will never touch it. Goblin face is keep, dollar sign is donate or sell, and trash can is, well, trashed. By the way, I have to organize this shit. The bathroom this morning, but I left you the toilet. How very generous of you. I forgot, we forgot how to do this memory thing. Ooh, what's that smell? Smells like delicious garbage. Ooh, yes, delicious indeed. Who's this guy? <laughs> or it could have been stinky pants Sam. Oh, is that <laughs> Sam guy? Sam. <laughs> Come on now. Sam, that smell getting a skunk out of our blood. Be nice. <gasps> a skunk? What did you do to her? Is she okay? Sure is. Why do I suddenly have suspicions about Sam? 
like, I'm just suddenly getting bad vibes from this guy. Before it's like, whatever, he was annoying and drunk and I didn't care. And now I'm like, hmm, suspicious. Okay, what's this? Allison, oh, I can open this. I asked you to clean up the coffee table three times already. Oh, you hungry? shush. I'm gonna eat. Have a whole lot of nothing. Wow, ketchup, delicious. Make me one of those pickle and ketchup sandwiches. That sounds interesting. I'm sorry, sir. We are all out of pickles today. Could I interest you in a ketchup-only sandwich? Do you even Looks have like bread? Looks like there's a bottle back here. Says the guy who used to eat peanut butter with ranch. <laughs> Ew, peanut butter and ranch? What the hell? What a weird combination. What a weird combination. I did the same with my toys. Forgetting that they would. Lasagna! Lasagna! Finish your salad first. Thank you, Tessa. You're one of the likes here. Nothing to worry about it. Oh, Tessa's here. Leftovers from the restaurant. What about Volcano? She needs to eat her lunch too. Quite right, love. Uh, she can have my corn. <laughs> Here you go, little one. You must be hungry too. <laughs> huh. Looks like Tessa didn't have that broom up her ass back then. You look cute here. That's not me. I mean, it is, but. But not really. I get it. It's just weird seeing myself like that again. Didn't think a picture could throw me like this anymore. I'm sorry. That sounds really rough. Yeah. I mean, don't get me wrong. I'm like a thousand times better. But I've got Still. a ways to go before I'm comfortable taking my shirt off. Which is why I'm scheduling my top surgery as soon as we sell this house. No more putting a binder on every morning. God, that sounds fucking amazing. Yeah. Totally. Just so you know. I'll be there to help out when you do. Whatever you need. Aww. Thanks. Allison's literally just so supportive. All right. What's your verdict, Ronan? You know what? I'll keep a few. To remind us how far we've come. Good. Look under. Oh. Oh, creepy. Goblins were here. What's doing down here? Is that gum? Is that a frog? Oh, I guess that was probably me. Yeah, it was a frog. Kind of weird. Why do we have this table and that table over there? What to do with this? See, I think this is trash. Oh wait, uh, yeah. This has been sitting in a damp house for ten years. No one wants to eat off it. That one can go over here. Come on, honey, smile like Allison. Hold up your fish. Oh, this is the picture. That's crazy. Huh. Well, siblings. <laughs> you were just being bratty. Was I though? Yes. Probably. All, All kids are. When we were out on the porch, Eddie had to force you to share. Allison, I asked you to clean up the coffee table three times already. <laughs> oh wait, I have to clean up the coffee table. I forgot. Oh yeah. I remember that only once actually. So. Is there another memory? This is why I get distracted. Alright, I'll clean it up. Thanks. While you do that, I'll check out the furniture. I'm guessing you want to keep the coffee table? Um... I don't know. Okay, never mind. Guess it's going to the junkyard. Yeah. Are you gonna keep doing? I really like that armchair. You like the mold smell? <laughs> Maybe sit in it for a few minutes and see if you get used to the mold smell first. Uh, on second thought, never mind. Ah, uh, yeah, let's trash this. Another one. I feel like bed. Tyler already put that on there, so. I hate to say it, but. Are we done? Couches get a one-way ticket to the dump. No protest here. I think I have permanent knee damage from a decade of bumping into the corner of those damn things. Well, then that's it for the living room. Awesome. You're relieved from your duties. Thank God. Oh. Weren't you 
cozy up by the fire. Starting the fire again? Yeah, I'm gonna boil some water. You want something to drink? My sister respond. Oh. Oh, coffee or tea? Uh, coffee You'd always. Have instant coffee? Oh, that's instant? Instant coffee. Hmm. No, Ew, gross. Sorry. Actually. I'm more of a tea person. Get it? Tea. As in... Mm -hmm. Yes. How long have you been waiting to make that joke? Longer than I'm willing to admit. <laughs> <sighs> I'm so glad Eddie came through on the campaign. Shh. Did you hear that? <gasps> the Ice King is sending us a warning. Okay, let's not even joke about scary things in a game that's not supposed to be scary at all. For your punishment, said the Ice King, you shall be banished from the forest. Oh, there's the mum. If you dare come back before the new moon, you shall feel my anger in your gut. Hear it in the wind. Whoosh! <laughs> huh. Do you think the Ice King would really react that way? He may be intimidating, but he's always fair and never mean. Oh, hmm. yeah. You're right. Maybe he tells the goblins to help the people they hurt instead? Great idea, sweetie. Why don't we think about it at dinner? I'll put everything away for safekeeping while you go wash your hands. Can you put them in the binder so they don't get stained? Of course not. <sighs> I still think my dark and twisted Why are we talking so much about the Ice King? So many hours into that book. Yeah. The binder was full of extra drawings and incomplete stories. Think they're all still in the kitchen drawer? We should go take a look. Kitchen drawer. Hey, they're in here. Allison's first drafts. Oh. Right. Because I didn't contribute at all. Come on. I know you did. <sighs> Can't believe she kept all these. You'd think putting them on the fridge for a couple of weeks would have been enough. You know how we thought of ourselves as the goblins? Did you ever get the sense that maybe Marianne was the princess in the stories? Uh, well, yeah. yeah. She calls her bedroom the princess's sanctum. Yeah, and he figures out a lot of them. She was all alone in the woods, in this house, until we showed up. She was. Alone. But with a few friends who helped her along the way. What are you doing? Research. So, if Marianne was the princess, then who were all the rest? And here we go. Oh, come on. Humor me. I gotta figure this out. Oh, is it Tessa? Eddie or Sam? Huh. Hmm. Pelican. She was the most generous one. <laughs> yeah. There was always a catch. You go here. Okay. The bear was the most helpful one. He was always around. Stalking her? What? No. I mean, he was kind of always there, lurking. I feel like that's right. <sighs> Poor Moose. Really didn't do him justice. Hmm. Justice? Yeah. Kind of ironic, huh? Considering he was the lawful good one. I feel like that was a lot easier just. than I expected. Okay. Is this a swap? You done? Yeah. I am done. Alright. I think I'm done. You sure? I, I, yeah. How do you like them apples? You I know, think so. I think you might be onto something. What about these guys? I don't see them being real life people. Or this one. Oh, these ones. These specific human attributes you have assigned to these forest animals are truly thought provoking. Indubitably. The fuck? Yeah, that's fucking scary. Makes me wonder is that real? You better hurry, or the, or it's like, oh, the Mad Hunter and the Ice King. I keep getting those mixed up. The Mad Hunter is the one with a creepy face. Oh my god. Uh, what the fuck? I, I what the f Is he here? Is he really here? I'm scared. Go away! Yeah! Go 
Oh, what the hell? What the hell? They remember this so vividly. I forgot about that. We've been pretending he was there. And then, suddenly he was. That was the only time that happened, right? This is really creeping me out. Allison? Wait. It felt way too real. It was... Us. Pushing our imagination way too far. Who's at the door? Great. Sam Kansky, oh. Grandmaster of Bad Timing. We're not done with this conversation. We thought it was the Mad Hunter. Morning, Sam. Well, hoy, goblins. I ran into Chief Brown, who said you were starting to clean up on the house this morning, so, uh... So, did you bring I us snacks? You might need some supplies. Like snacks? That's... Thank you. That was very thoughtful. So listen, I, uh... I wanted to apologize for scaring you yesterday. You didn't. Your shotgun did. <laughs> yeah, uh... Well, I, uh... Anyway, I also came by to say I fired up the Google and I, uh... I did some reading. I didn't know the difference between all those words... Oh, and, wow. You know, Never been much of a reader, but I think I get why what I said was wrong. I'm real sorry. That's awesome that he actually tried to do something about it. Oh, and before I forget, for the lady of the house. So it was your mom's favorite it recipe. It is food. Still make it darn near every week. Think of her. That's awesome. Uh, thanks. But we don't have a stove. Still no electricity. Oh, yeah. Fuse box is busted. <laughs> Just another thing I've been meaning to put back together around here. No worries. I can take care of it. Oh, I don't doubt you can. But, uh, I've been kicking this thing back to life for the last 20-some years. I'll give you a hand. All right. Boxes in the barn. Follow me. Okay, so we'll we gotta right go fix things. You. So we can get delicious snacks. Delicious snacks. I guess that's not a snack. That's actually a whole meal. Okay, so I'm apology was something. Allison. Come on. We need lights. So be nice to the helpful man. Yeah, that's the thing. He's just trying his best, Sam. Nothing's perfect, but people have different experiences. And it's hard for them to relate to somebody else's experience, or I guess in this case, like how much knowledge and experience so, that Tyler has um, on the subject. And Sam's kind of expected to be at that level within a day. I like, he, he needs I'll time, please. but oh, he is heading in the right direction. Studies, huh? That's how well, I see it. It's a good thing I came along when I did. You know, I built this here barn for your mama. Yeah, just let's get to the point, Sam. What happened to the you give me bad va vibes. I forgot to put it back together. I remember mean, fixing the fuse and catch an after. Turns out a circuit was a little worse for the wear. I saw it back on the spot. Just the way mom was. Made her happy with this. Things can be fixed and kept going on. Anyways. So have our keys. Just open the door. Just open the door. And give us our keys. All of them. Well, I, uh, figured I might still need to do some maintenance, so, uh, no. I know, he's giving me good. bad vibes. Thank you. Fair warning. It was a good could get it that you, like, helped. Haven't you been taking care of this place? Well, it was Marianne, but, like. You didn't oil the doors? What? It's not her place anymore. Out here all day or something? Seems like it, Sam. Here, son. Give me a try. Okay, when you twist it as far as you can to the left, give it a nice little. Damn it. We just open this. No oh, shit. Thank you. Alright. Fuses go into plugs. This should be 20. Should that is that the right color? Good. Oh, so it was just color. Okay. Uh, 
I didn't realize it was that simple. It's like, it's not like he hasn't Everything. been in here okay. since. You, uh, you two look like you got this all in hand, so, um. See, moments like this, I feel like he's has good intentions. He had feelings for Marianne. There's some sort of relationship in the past. But then other times I feel like, what is that about? like, What's his intentions? What's going on? Who is he? I'm very confused about Sam. Know. What's that? No idea. Ew, Ew that's what? disgusting. No. Do you know from this experience? I sense a story. Well, if by story you mean using it at fireweed to get rid of some rats, and then spilling it on my only pair of shoes, then yes. <laughs> and that sounds horrible. <laughs> oh, look at this. I think this is where she made all our toys. She was so crafty. Toilet paper tubes, rope, cardboard. Maybe a car? Ooh, or a tank. That's a pair. Found Marianne's stash. Blueberry, blueberry, salmonberry. Mm, <laughs> salmonberry, it's sounds... Birch and fireweed? Bet it tastes like restricted... Those have definitely gone bad. As far as I'm concerned, they always were. Does canned food really expire? I mean, it's think it tight, does. right? Uh, not gonna be the one to test that out. I think it does. Eventually. Hey there, little buddy. Yeah, I hate spiders. Fuck spiders. Oh, did I not respond? If we end up living together, you should know my house has a no spiders rule. Well, in my house, we don't kill them. Ugh. You can take them outside then. Yeah. What are you gonna do with this wreck? Take it apart and sell the scrap. Be my guest. It sure looks like a pile of junk to me. Where you see junk, I see dollars. Oh man, I'm gonna put together the sweetest. If you suggest it and you wanna put the effort in it, go for it. I'm not gonna argue that. So upset. Oh, we probably forgot he was all out of bourbon. Yeah, that's not cool. Hey, that's not cool. Sam has a serious problem. Sorry. It was a low blow. Oh, there's that creepy he really hunter. Freaked out when he thing. saw that gun rack. Remind me to take a gun. What did you find? <sighs> Do you know who that is? Uh, yeah. I just think Carol. it's boring to look at pictures. <laughs> other pictures of her, but never this one. Man, look at Brown. And Marianne. She looks really happy. Can I? Careful, the glass is Ow. broken. Oh, what the fuck? Are you okay? It's stainless. Let's go see mom. But she'll get mad. We weren't even supposed to be here. What memory did that just trigger? I'm so confused. I is had to make that call. What call? What? what is Eddie about? actually their uncle? Can't figure out what's going on. I don't know, but I remember that whatever Eddie had to do, whatever that call was about, it was tearing him up. Tearing him up? He was being a total cop, and Marianne got pissed and threw him out. Here, I'm gonna show you what I remember. Over here, Allison. Yeah, I'm right. I'm right fucking beside you. Is that actually their uncle? I had to make that call. I was just following the law. Oh yeah. 
And this little visit right here? What would the law say about this, huh? Look, I didn't have to come out here, but I did. You're a goddamn hypocrite. Get out of here! Marianne... <sighs> I said get out! Out! She's mad. What? She didn't throw the picture at him. You sure about that? He's being a complete dick. How can you be sure? We were eavesdropping. We could huh. barely see a thing. What do you think happened then? What's this noise? It's so interesting to like look at both their perspectives because the memories, you cannot trust them. I had to make that call. I was following procedure. What I'm legally required to do. Then why are you here? Pretty sure this is I wanted you to hear it from me. Please. Mary Ann. I'm sorry. Please just go. What happened? What happened? How do we keep remembering the same thing so differently? It was a long time ago, and well, memory is a tricky thing. Wait. When did that happen? I'm not sure. I think it was the exact same day she attacked you. That's what I thought. Uncle Eddie said he hadn't seen Marianne for weeks. Yeah, that was <clears throat> bullshit. And what was all that about following the law? What was he doing here exactly? Oh, that was okay. I don't know. I don't know. I have no idea. We shouldn't jump to any conclusions. Look, I know he took care of you, but that doesn't make him incapable of lying. I can't see him being that cold with Marion, even if he was being a cop. I mean, I can, so who knows? I guess memory is a tricky thing, huh? It is. You can't trust it. That's why it only goes so far in the court of law, too. Choose Tyler's memory and choose Allison's memory. Get out. I'm going to do Allison's right now, because I feel like Marianne was sad. I know you were just doing your job, but I need you to go before you get in trouble. Please, just get out of here. Alright. Say Brown really felt bad about whatever he came out to tell her. It was still the day she attacked us. He still lied. Now what? You go and get a straight answer from him. Yeah. Right now? Yes. I'll go get my car keys. But what will these mountains of trash do without us? Fuck the trash. Exactly. Fuck the trash. Screw this house. Deal with that shit later. All right. So I'm going to pause the video right there. So we saw an argument between Uncle Eddie and Mary Ann, but regardless of which memory we chose was quote unquote correct, we still have no idea what this argument was about. I think Allison and Tyler are really starting to realize that as kids, there was so much about their mother that was a mystery to them. But think about it when you were a child, you could see all these situations happening, but like it was almost like you're so oblivious to what was going on. You were in your own little world. You weren't really too concerned about what was happening. Sometimes maybe like in this case, like Allison and Tyler, they're curious, but still they don't quite understand. They can't grasp what's going on or what could be going on. So there will be a new episode of Tell Me Why on my channel next Monday and we will continue chapter two. And as always, if you do wanna follow me on Instagram, I am at Malika Games, the link is below. Thanks guys so much for watching. I really, really do appreciate it and take it easy.